Gender-based violence is the most significant barrier to gender equality, and it can be prevented. Yet for too long, we've heard stories of survivors and their families who have come forward hoping to prevent this tragedy from happening to others. We thank them for their courage and offer our gratitude to those providing healing to those affected. La violence fondée sur le sexe a des répercussions immédiates et durables sur la santé physique et mentale, comme des blessures physiques, des traumatismes, des maladies chroniques, de la dépression et du stress post-traumatique. Mais la violence ne nuit pas seulement à la santé. On November 25th, the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, we begin 16 days of activism to end all forms of gender-based violence. We must work to end the stigma associated with gender-based violence, break the cycle of abuse, and to provide better support for victims of violence. That includes investing to improve the determinants of health, including fostering safe and healthy relationships, supporting maternal child health programs that help families across Canada, including First Nations and Inuit families, and investing in community-based programs to improve the health of those who have experienced intimate partner violence or childhood maltreatment. The Government of Canada stands shoulder to shoulder with those taking action to end violence against women and girls. It's why we've introduced the first federal strategy to address and prevent all forms of gender-based violence because we all have a role to play. Join the conversation online using the hashtag MyActionsMatter and share how you'll be part of the solution. Together, we all can achieve real progress towards eliminating gender-based violence.